Hello, my Scorpio lovelies. This is your reading for July 2023. My name is Natasha, also known as Nourish Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. We're going to pull some tarot cards and some oracle cards for your energy for July of 2023. Be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, or if you have a stellium. And remember that some of this might be for you, some of it might be for another Scorpio. So take what resonates, leave the rest. I'm going to shuffle these decks and I'm going to talk about some offerings here on my channel for a bit while I shuffle. Um, just two things if you're new here or if you're old here. I do have a membership here on YouTube. If you hit that join button, you get access to live yoga, live tarot readings, live new moon and full moon workshops, challenges in the month of July. I'm doing a tarot and yoga challenge, so a yoga class for every single day of the month in July themed around a tarot card. So just hit the join button, come join our little online coven here on YouTube. And also in the month of July, I am uh, releasing a group coaching program for business and social media. So if you ever want to do what I do, you know, I'm a full-time content creator, influencer, small business. I host witchcraft and wellness retreats. I have courses. I do it all. I've been doing this full-time for going on four years now, actually going on five years now. If you'd like to learn how to do that and join a little business coven, come join us and nourish your business. All those links will be in the description box below. We'll go ahead and get into it. And now look at this Scorpio at the bottom of the deck. We have the sun. Warmest, most abundant card in the deck. We love to see it. This is happiness, joy, inner child healing, uh, warmth, abundance, just all the good things, Scorpio. So that is, I mean, <laughs> can't ask for anything better. But what is Scorpio leaving behind in June? What is Scorpio leaving behind in June? What are they not bringing with them into July? Four of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, Scorpio, leaving behind the scarcity mindset. Four of Pentacles, you can see here this dude is holding all of his pentacles very close, very tightly. Um, not let anybody touch those pentacles uh, at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords. I feel like very much stress about money, finances. Um, just stress about like checks and balances, like things aren't in balance and you're stressed about it. Stress stressing about the scarcity mindset. What if I don't have enough? What if this doesn't work out? What if this, what if that? We're leaving that behind in June, Scorpio. You gotta work on leaving that behind in June and step into the energy of being a student, page of pentacles, maybe relearning, um, you know, kind of the page is the youngest of the court cards and the page of pentacles, pentacles being money, wealth, abundance, finance, the material realm. I think Scorpio, maybe you've had maybe a financial loss or a stressor that has kind of triggered you and put you into the scarcity mindset of being like, well, I can't spend anything. I can't do anything because what if I lose it again? Or what if, you know, it's just, it's not a, it's not a healthy mindset to have around. And I mean, I look at the state of the world, we're in a recession. It's valid for sure. But it, maybe it's time to go back to basics and be a student again and kind of relearn, regrow your wealth, relearn um, how you feel about money. Um, you know, because there's like the saying like money is the root of all evil, but you know, capitalism, sure. But think about all the good things you could do with money, Scorpio. Like um, taking care of your friends, family, donating charity, like re, I think you need to kind of revamp your mindset around money and wealth and abundance and maybe get your finances in check. Perhaps Scorpio, what's going on for you in <clears throat> July? I mean, look at that. We have the 10 of pentacles right there. This is complete and total financial and material wealth, legacy, abundance, um, abundance to share with your family and friends. What I was just talking about, <laughs> like, it's not just abundant for you, it's abundant for everyone else for you to get that in order and to be a student again and to let go of that Four of Pentacles mindset and step into your Ten of Pentacles mindset of long-term wealth, abundance, <clears throat> a full speed ahead, Scorpio, the chariot at the bottom of the deck, card of Cancer, like full speed ahead into that Ten of Pentacles. Full speed ahead. We don't want, we're not going to <clears throat> let our fears around money or the material or the tangible get the better of us anymore we're going to heal that relationship yeah because it's a self it's a self-imposed prison it's a self-imposed prison scorpio eight of swords this is a prison of the mind being prisoned and stuck from limiting beliefs you can totally free yourself if you wanted to but it feels like it's impossible because it's in the brain um and with the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck again this is a card of loss feeling out in the cold being alone i think that's how you've been feeling scorpio and you're like <clears throat> but why 
you know, it's, it's in the brain and it's, and it can be caused by trauma and things you've been through and that's totally valid and I get it. Um, but you need to kind of, you need to start working on that Scorpio, getting, taking off that blindfold, getting out of this, this trap here in your mind, working on those limiting beliefs of, um, you know, perhaps believing you don't deserve abundance or you don't deserve these things because you absolutely do and i think where you're going to find it and where you're going to find that abundance is by stepping into your passions queen of wands what are you passionate about what lights your fire i'm sorry i'm gonna get very bad allergies in las vegas i'm sniffling a little bit what lights your fire um this is the second time in the second reading i've heard the doors song come on baby light my fire in my brain i've been like hyper fixated on the doors for some reason but you need to figure out what lights your fire, Scorpio, because that's where you're going to find that Ten of Pentacles. And that's where you're going to find the release from that kind of mental prison if you just step forward into your passion. Stop worrying about what other people think, what other people think of you, what other people think of what you're doing. I feel like maybe you just have some really like crazy idea of something you want to do, Scorpio, and you're like, well... People will think that's weird or people won't get it or whatever. Like, who cares? Who cares? It's going to catapult you into abundance and happiness. Yeah. We have the five of swords and the two of cups here. You got to put those swords down, Scorpio. I know it's hard. Five of swords is... Five of swords is... Um, uh, defensive or is the five of wands is offensive like five of wands is like crazy chaos fighting being on the offensive five of swords is being on the defensive um, but you need to put those swords down Scorpio it's time to put those swords down there's also a little Aquarius symbol here if you can see in that jar there we also have the star at the bottom of the deck card of Aquarius you could be dealing with an Aquarius here but I think you know, it's time to put the swords down, Scorpio, of focusing on the worst or what's the worst that could happen. Or again, that scarcity mindset and focus on the best, the hope, the light at the end of the tunnel, the star. This comes after the tower. The star is our north star, our light at the end of the tunnel, the thing that that helps us keep going. And it's hard, Scorpio, again, because when the world is like it is, it's very hard to focus on that. But you for sure have something good coming we have the two of cups here um perhaps a new offer of love or offer of emotions or you and another person there is the cancer symbol on here perhaps you're dealing with a cancer or another water sign um they're kind of like getting caught up in a whirlwind but they're like filling each other's actually i just realized they're both pouring their cups into the star again we have the star at the bottom of the deck um i think scorpio it's like if you can put those swords down you're going to be able to fill your own cup. Someone else might be also filling your cup. Perhaps, again, a new relationship coming in. I mean, look at this. The card that just fell out of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Wish come true, wish fulfillment. And again, the star at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, come on. You are so close to having that wish fulfillment. You are so close to having that wish come true, to reaching that light at the end of the tunnel. You just got to put the swords down. Yeah, step out of that mental prison again i don't mean to call you out scorpio it just happens sometimes king of swords king of swords with the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck for sure if you're feeling like you're done you're over it ten of swords um valid but you need to move forward with clarity with a clear mind again putting the swords down getting out of the eight of swords how do you do that and it's hard. It's hard for Scorpio. It's hard for any water sign to think with your logic instead of your emotions because we're water signs. We're ruled by emotions. I'm a Pisces. I get it. But Scorpio, you need to move forward with clarity in the mind. That is the king of swords. He is the king of intellect. He is the master of the mind and can look at things in a logical way instead of an emotional way, which Scorpio, I feel like, is the kind of like sharpest, fieriest um of the water signs but even then scorpio your emotions are very like deep seated they're very powerful and they're very um just deep inside of you and it's it can as as much as we don't think it can even when it's like deep in the subconscious can skew our judgment or skew um our perception and i think you need to focus scorpio on moving forward with clarity there's just cards flying everywhere friends else we got here <clears throat> sky daddy the universe blessing you again 
the sun, that's the vibes of the sky daddy. We started with the sun at the bottom of the deck. You know, you have to allow, step out of the shadows is what I'm hearing. And again, uh, right here to show me your, the original face you had before your parents were born. This is um, a card of who you truly are, Scorpio. You're underneath underneath the mask, underneath who we are as people. This is your soul. And it can, I think, be very scary for anyone, and but Scorpio especially, to let people in and see who they truly are. Like the kind of Scorpio vibe is to be mysterious. And, um, you know, you're afraid to let people see the real you, Scorpio, I think is what's happening here. But you gotta, if you want that sun, Sky Daddy to bless you, you want the Nine of Cups, wish come true, you gotta move forward with the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. Passionate creativity, do not, uh, I'm hearing, don't um, stifle yourself for anyone. Be who you are, Scorpio. What else? I don't know if you can hear my little, my little puppy snoring, if you hear that noise in the background. It's my dog snoring. What else does Scorpio need to hear? Energy follows intention. If you put your energy behind something, Scorpio, magic is going to happen. You got to focus on something. Um, if you pick a direction, if you move forward with clarity, intention, energy will follow. What you love loves you back. There, it's it's going to be equal and opposite reaction. If you put energy into something, you, you focus, you put your intention into something, King of Swords, Queen of Wands, the energy will follow. The energy will follow, my friends. And it is a matter of duality, right? You can't have light without shadow. You can't have love without hate. Um, it's a balancing of your shadow self and your conscious self. Um, you know, I think that a lot of water signs, we tend to fall really deep into one or the other. It's very hard for us to find um, that balance because we are just so heavy in our emotions and we feel things and most a lot of water signs are empaths but you have to balance your light and shadow as well as the light and shadow of everyone else um yeah we're getting really deep we're getting really deep here scorpio um we have the hot tubs too hot i think that's how you've been feeling scorpio like you're at your limit right when we we have the ten of swords we have the four of pentacles the eight of swords it's like you're ready to get out of it but you don't necessarily know how it's like um, I'm just picturing like a lobster in the water, like, you know, you're feeling that kind of things like build around you and you're like, but how do I move forward? How do I get out of this? You know, when you're stuck in kind of your eight of swords situation, that, that self-imposed prison, you can feel the temperature rising, <laughs> right? How do you get out of it, Scorpio? You take the high road. You take the high road. Um, again, king of swords, queen of wands. Ignore everybody else around you. Perhaps they wronged you, perhaps they, you know, did something to kind of put you in that Four of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords mindset. Um, you gotta just bypass them. No more focusing on other people, Scorpio. You gotta focus on yourself because you're here for a reason. You came here to turn off, help turn off the lights. You have a purpose, a purpose bigger than those other people couldn't even imagine, Scorpio. You came here to help turn off the lights. You are here for a reason. And again, this high road is going right into the sun, might I add. <laughs> what else does Scorpio need to hear? How can Scorpio move forward with clarity and taking the high road? All right, pulling the old fashioned way aggressively hydrate take care of your physical body if you're watching this take a drink of water and i think it's also a reminder to still tap into your water energy scorpio i'm not saying you have to completely cut everyone off um you know you because it's hard for any water sign again to be the king of swords to be the queen of wands that's the opposite of who we are right we're the queen and king of cups um you can still tap into your water energy your emotions um, and also still move forward with clarity and passion. How do you do that? Fortune favors the bold. Take risks, 
take bold risks based in what you love, what you want to do, your passions. Um, you know, it's it, this card always reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. It is a pirate ship. It reminds me of the end of Curse of the Black Pearl when, um, you know, Jack Sparrow's like, bring me that horizon and sails off. Fortune favors the bold, Scorpio. You have to follow your, your compass, not anybody else's, but yours. That doesn't mean you're not going to have advent adventure along the way. Who just, who just flew out? No vacancy. No vacancy, Scorpio. I think, you know, you're feeling like you just don't have the capacity for anything else. Again, same with the hot tub is too hot. No, you've reached, you've reached your limit, I feel like, is what you are feeling, Scorpio. And how do we kind of get out of it? I feel like, yeah, this card has come out in almost every reading. Tag your it and fortune favors the bold. It's like a completely new, fresh, fresh start. And it's, it's, it's funny because it's like, even though you're feeling this way, Scorpio, no vacancy, the hot tub's too hot, the eight of swords, 10 of swords, four of pentacles, very like shut off, very closed off, very like, I can't, overstimulated is also like kind of what's coming up. It's like, you're being asked to, again, take the high road and still step into the spotlight. And I know that that's like almost contradictory, but it's like, you know, the, I think it might be like the self-isolation with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. It's like you really, really self-isolated and cut out a lot because you, maybe you needed to do that. And you're still feeling no vacancy. You're still feeling like the hot tub is too hot. You're like, why do I still feel weird? Um, I think it's time for you to step into something you really want, Scorpio. Something you truly, truly want. Fortune favors the bold, tag your it. Um, Queen of Wands, King of Swords, take the high road right into your passions. And when you step into um, the spotlight, when it's actually something that you're passionate about, it, it lights you up in a different way. You don't feel the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. You feel Nine of Cups, right? You feel happy instead of feeling miserable. Be groovy or leave, man. That's exactly it. If someone in your life is not being groovy, if you're not being groovy, it's time to let it go. I think that might be why also you're feeling like the hot tub's too hot and no vacancy. There might be someone around you that's just like making you feel this way. Get rid of them or you need to leave that space. That's the thing with the be groovy or leave man card. It's like either they need to leave or maybe you need to leave that space. Scorpio, take the high road because guess what? It's time for you to sparkle. It's time to be the sparkle, 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 bitch. Step in the spotlight, Scorpio. I know that's like absolutely what Scorpio does not want. Like Scorpio wants to be mysterious and like not be in the spotlight, but you need to be in the spotlight, Scorpio. You need to, it's your time to shine. As cheesy as that sounds, but it's true. So I'll leave you with that, Scorpio. Let me know if this resonates, drop a comment. Um, if you enjoyed this, you want some live tarot, live yoga, live new moon and full moon workshops, come join us in my membership here. Just hit that join button. And if you're looking to grow your business or start your business or start your social media, or grow your social media, come join Nourish Your Business. We start July 10th. I will leave you with that Scorpio and I hope you have a wonderful July and I'll see you next time.